politics. Our next guest says President Trump is really hitting his stride after a somewhat rocky start. Look who's here. Joe Sitt, CEO of Thor Equities, <laughs> developing real estate all across the country. I thought you were a, non, a never Trumper kind of guy. Where did it go wrong? You know, I'm really for the sake of the middle road, and I know that that's the hardest position to be in, but that's what we need today. Okay, we tell me about the economy. Is he hitting his stride on the economy? Unbelievably well. I think that we really are in that Goldilocks moment economically in our country. Markets and places that soar unemployment, depression, coming alive. You know, everybody talked about this economy being one of a Wall Street economy. I don't think we've ever had a Main Street economy boom in decades like what we're seeing today. Markets like Houston, Denver, Minneapolis, Salt Lake City. I mean, you travel this country and the heartland, and it is waking up. People are getting excited. But is People that are happy. because of President Trump and his policies? It's probably so much so that it's a balance. Some of the residue from the prior administration's good move, but obviously you've got to give the largest share to President Trump and the initiatives he's done for this country. Now, wait a minute, Joe said. You are a real estate developer. You do a lot of business in New York. President Trump is a real estate developer in New York. Are you trying to get on his good side or stay on his good side or avoid his bad side? No, I, I'm looking for both sides to come together. I think somebody needs, maybe Manchin out of West Virginia needs to schedule a weekly beer time between Chuck and Donald to just go over the issues and find some middle ground. We happen to have gone through a rough patch. I would say maybe his bedside manner on some issues weren't the best. Maybe some of the clowns, candidly, that he had in his administration may have caused some issues in the past. But now he's got the A-team. He's got Gary Cohen on the economy. He's got General Kelly. He's got General Mattis. He's got Jared Kushner. He's got Vice President Pence. He really, at the ultimate high point of the administration, has some of the brightest, most talented people that anybody could have wanted in an administration. What do you think about immigration? He's proposed a deal. You build the wall, you get rid of chain migration, you get rid of the lottery, and in return, some of the dreamers can stay. Is that the kind of deal that Joe Sitt can get behind and approve of? I think what folks are missing is, is that part of his plan is not to stop immigration, but to control and manage it. One of the things he said is, let's not have immigration but by do lottery. Do you approve of that? What I approve of is that we need the best and brightest here in our country. We have people that come to the best universities in the United States, and candidly, we kick them out, yet we have a lottery system that brings other people into the country that maybe doesn't add value to our country. And I think that the proposed system of utilizing the immigration policy to bring and keep the best of the brightest mm. that can help the United States grow is a value add, and they need to find that middle ground. Now, in your business, you come across labor shortages, surely, uh, in various parts of the country to build your buildings and build your projects. We are short of labor, aren't we? Yes, and I think that there's two answers. Number one, obviously managing immigration, right, because that can actually fill so many important positions at all levels of the economy. But I think that one of the things that people kind of missed along the way from his speech was vocational education. That's something that I've been talking about for years and years that we need. What do I mean? The world's changed. We all see it now very vivid. The skills that you need changed. Mm -hmm. And what was a factory before of putting together a particular product? Now a factory today might be a gigantic Amazon or Apple office mm -hmm. with people coding, et cetera, et cetera. And we need that vocational program. We need government-sponsored education to re-educate folks and take them from jobs that they can't even get at $30,000 a year Year, to jobs we're starving to be able to pay people at eighty, ninety, or a hundred thousand uh, dollars a year. Why did I ever think that this man sitting next to yeah. me is an anti-Trump kind of? No. Guy? Where, where did I get that from? You've been on the show before. Yes, sir. The answer is is that I'm <laughs> for the balance. I'm for what's great for America. We really need. Forgive me for saying it on the show. 
We need to not look at things as polarized as Fox mm. or CNBC, et cetera. We look, have to look at it as America. We've got technology industry booming. For the first time, we're going to be not just an energy independent country. Mm. We're going to be more powerful than Saudi Arabia and Russia. We are going to be the biggest Great. pumper outers of yes. energy in the history right, right, of mankind. Ticket. You've got and a that's ticket. a weapon. Let's use that <laughs> weapon. Oh, yes. that, that, that make me I'm not going to stop you. Just keep rolling keep there, rolling. Joe. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Uh, Joe said, <laughs> come back any time you like. You're all right, sir. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You.